after yesterday lesson i felt we need to talk about some shapes of uh, alphabet so that we can easily recognize them while you are reading out the language so uh, we will talk about the initial and mid shape of jim family jim he khe and che so let's start uh, in here we have the word hakim so in here what will we do yes we talk about the initial shape of jim family this is called jim and when we jim come in initial it's uh, only we take this part to make a word for example hakim so we use only this to write hakim that's mean where you found a uh, a letter shape like this that's mean this is jim or khe or maybe che so is it clear that Uh, this is jim and when jim come in initial shape or at the uh, beginning of our word we only use this part to make a word so ha kim ha and then we put alif ha kim so that's me this is he uh, let's see some more example so in here we have ha kim or ha kim so once again the initial shape of he like this and then hakim and then hakim so hakim is same this is initial shape of he with one dot or if che and then we put three dots under this and it's become che let's see some more example we have uh, in here example for che and jim you see in here the initial shape of che same like he mean like this and the three dots in chain and then we write become chain it's very simple jin so just initial shape of jim and then noon so that's mean anywhere you found a shape like this uh like this that's mean it from jim family if one dot under it that's mean jim over head that's mean k and if three dot that's mean j okay let's uh, one more word this is haji so how to write haji ha ji the uh, initial shape of he ha and once again in this word the jim come uh, again at initial therefore the full shape of jim like this and then this ha ji Uh, now we will talk about the mid shape of jim how it look like when it comes in mid so uh, yes this is initial shape of jim but when jim come in uh, mid it shape like this like a v only this we not use this part let's see some example mohabbat this is meem and then he he shape like this like a, a laying week but opposite side or like the symbol of less or uh, more than so meem and then the word mohabbat so if jim or he family come in mid we not uh, use this shape but we use only this shape so this will help you to recognize the word in here you see maikum after mim only use this shape that's mean this is he and in here full shape of jim which is like this jim is it clear okay what's the next yes next we will talk about uh, initial and mid shape of ain if ain come in uh, isolated so this is a simple and the initial shape of ain is only this uh this that's mean we use only head of ain or ghain to start a word for example uh, in here we have am am mean uh, common so only initial of ain and then lif so ghar same ghar 
or for example ghor so ghain and then waw and then re so anywhere if you found a shape like this that means it's ain or ghain now we will uh, talk about the mid shape of ain or ghain so mid initial shape is like this but the mid shape of ain is like this like this make a head like this uh, how to write makos meme and this shape of ain like this so ma and this become kos ma kos that's mean if you find a shape of any letter look like this this become ain or ain so initial shape like this but the mid shape like this ain or ain so what's the next next we have the difference between uh, gym family and b family because uh, yesterday i uh, felt uh, that maybe you have a little confusion with this so it's more simple uh, let's see how if we write he the already told initial shape of he like this but the initial and mid shape of b is like this like in here uh, bomb so only this and then we put alif bomb so anywhere you found a shape like this that's mean it's b or uh, maybe if i have uh, more dot three dots it's become p or I have over uh, two dot it's become t okay so the what is the difference if uh, hey initial shape like this but if g more uh, hey uh, mid shape like this for example this is g so this is gym and this is b so that's mean gym like a v but b like l opposite l like uh, uh, like l we are like l like this but uh, he like this so in here habib ha and then b like this b ha b let's see some uh, more example so in here have mohabbat so he and then b together mid shape of he this is me okay mid shape of he and then b like this and then t for a uh, complete mohabbat now in here we have a uh, chabutra ch in here this is ch it's come initial that full shape and then b chabutra in here uh, chappu ch and p together so don't confuse this is show that ch and this is show that p chappu okay uh, okay what should i do okay how uh, if two time come ch how to write yes for example we write chacha chacha mean uncle first ch and then ch and then alif chacha the first ch with full shape and the second ch with like v shape so this is chacha but if we write uh, chapa we will write uh, like this first uh, ch and then write p and then alif chapa okay so what's next we have some uh, <coughs> okay this is majboor simple in this jim and then b so jim and b hukumat initial shape of uh, h and now this chichak two time use ch so this is a uh, let me from here chichak ch and then again ch chichak first ch with full and then second ch like this so ch and ch if in here p we write like this ch and then only p and then k chipak ch p k chipak okay so at the end uh, yes we have for uh, practice for again 
so the initial shape of ghain simple and then this so this is a ghain a ghor then here the word mamnuat mamnuat mean forbidden so ain i should uh, initial shape so simple ain like this okay and in here ain uh, sorry ghain in mid so how to write b and then ghain like this so this is ghain okay how if in here jim and ghain so this will become like this jim and then ghain ghain and then this jaa okay i hope this lesson will help you to recognize uh, jim and b and ghain if you have any other issue please let me know uh, i will do it for you okay allah hafiz